all kinds of jewelry. There's a 14 karat gold bracelet, 24 grams, and more. More jewelry over here. A lot of sterling silver. More jewelry here, some vintage toys, some belt buckles, matches, coins, Vargas girls. A whole bunch of brand new knives. TWA pilot's uniforms. There's a dog. Vintage Halloween, other kind of Halloween spooky stuff. A lot of pop culture, some toys, more vintage Halloween, entertainment related. Some retro signs, dolls, art pottery, signs, all sorts of good stuff over here. Taxidermy, old scales, more vintage Halloween, all sorts of stuff over here. World War II military stuff, other vintage pieces. These little yellow benches are cute. Neat mid-century sofa or love seat. A lot of new in the box stuff. Bluetooth speakers, there's a metal detector, and more and more. A couple more racks of vintage clothes. We'll see how that goes. More knives, more jewelry, cast iron, all sorts of fun stuff coming up in this week's auction. spooky here's preview video for the next Thursday evening Kansas City estate and consignment auction it's gonna be October 24th 2024 we're located at 1801 Gwinnott Street in Kansas City Missouri we're in the East Bottoms just east of River Market Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and give us a like and copy the share link for us. All that good stuff, really, really appreciate it. Um, auction night, doors open at five. Auction starts at six. And every Wednesday, we have an in-person preview from 11 to one. So come down, check out everything. And uh, yeah. So here we go. Um, I guess we'll start somewhere over here. We've got all these like brand new knives. Kind of interesting. I'm not sure if there's a ton of value, but you know, definitely they're not like boring pieces. Seem well done. Um, what do we have in this case? There's Todd, the auction dog. Hi, Todd. Say hi. Hi. He's a good boy. Uh, let's see over here. There's some fishing lures and all sorts of cool stuff in here. Neat old Disney piece. Advertising bullet pencils. I like this globe. Kind of cloisonne almost. Nice piece. Let's see, we get over here. We've got some uh, Fortnite cards. It's kind of fun. Harley boots, beer tappers, going to grandma's. Little suitcase, tin litho uh, wind up toys. More watches and jewelry. Belt buckles and more, all sorts of fun little stuff in there. 
A lot of sterling silver jewelry in there. More fishing stuff. Just take it all in, take it all in. This is pretty neat. Uh, Vargas calendar girls, like the calendar, the dates aren't there, but all the girls are there. So it's not, it's really neat that that's like complete. Hard to find people, you know, split those up. Coins, currency, a lot of that in there. More jewelry, more fun little pieces in that case. Looks like sterling in there. Then let's see up top right now, there's a listener, necklace and earrings, nice signed costume. A lot of that sparkly stuff. Um, this is 20, almost uh, a little over 24 grams, 14 karat gold bracelet. Sterling necklace, uh, 14 karat gold watch uh, with the gold filled band. These are 10K, a little like fraternity pins, a little sterling, whatever, charm bracelet. So that's cool. Gotta love that. Um, miscellaneous jewelry, etc. in there. More jewelry up here. These are all sterling necklaces. Try not to show that huge freaking mess behind there. But is what it is at this point, I guess. Uh, Navajo beaded necklace. More jewelry in here, a lot of jewelry this week. More in here, uh, 925 gold filled, like that's gold filled. This isn't marked, I don't think it's sterling, but it's a neat little perfume bottle, we'll just sell that all. All those watches, lots of Mickey Mouse in there. Uh, Lapis Lazul from Chile necklace. Another framed interview magazine dealie there. Ooh, here are some EMF detectors for ghost hunting. Can't open that with one hand, so forget it. Uh, there's Victorian like hair watch fob. Sort of mounted, scary looking bug. This guy works. Chad had him going earlier. I'll drink to that, Mr. Mouse. He's crazy. I think he has a problem. Oh, what do we have in here? Oh, yeah, this video is not intended for entertainment purposes. It's merely to just show you what we have in the auction. So, you know can't really compare it to all of uh, the other fancy YouTube channels that the kids are screaming about these days. Uh, a couple of like promo type cars in there. Big Cartier perfume bottle. Really cool old cast iron uh, horse and ladder. A couple of steer horns back there. There's a scale. I guess you can tell that. Printer's blocks. More jewelry, a lot of jewelry. Watches, more jewelry. Told you, a lot of jewelry this week. Good boy. We'll go as soon as this is done, Todd. He's ready to get out of here. Royal stuff. Sadly, about 10 days ago today, I believe is when it was. Nine days ago, maybe. More knives. Neat little uh, rangefinder periscope deal. 51 flood book sure did well last week.
like somebody made this lamp out of like X, old x-rays and filled the base up with bones. Christmas tree. Carnival. There's some uranium glass in there. And then a lot of water pipes, <laughs> interestingly enough. Yeah, I mean, they sell, people want them. They're nice, I guess. It's not my, not my thing, but uh, seems like it's almost everyone else in Kansas City's thing. Okay, we'll go back here. And this was cool. I can't remember these, like the divisions offhand. I even have a book. That's uh, whatever, Texas. So, and here's some information on the guy. I don't think there's really any of his military records in there. Oh, there's something. So anyway, uh, William Robert Skinner. Look at that guy. Like a freaking movie star. And then, I don't know, I guess that was his too. I guess, although. We thought that was separate. Yeah. But these two we thought. Fifth Army and then what Army Service Forces. Not nearly as exciting as the others. A couple vintage motorcraft racing jackets. A little vintage crazy jacket. Haha. <laughs> That's a lot of look there. MIZ. And back here. Oh, we got some chief stuff. Oh, look at all that chief stuff for you, Chiefs Nation, bringing it to you. And you know it's good when the tag says, fashion. Did I just turn off your lights on there? Oh, you did that. Todd, get out of the way, dude. All right, some old lamps over here. Uh, Gerald Thurston light. Another one. Well, those guys. Skull with a red light in it. This thing, if I can find the right cord. See, you don't even need to go on a vacation. You just, if I close my eyes just for a freaking second. Oh, oh I'm ready to get out of Kansas City and go somewhere like that. Uh, we turned her off, you saw her in the in the beginning, I'm not gonna do it again because she she's been going off all day long. Neat light fixture, vintage Halloween there. This, an embalming jar with the case. Embalming fluid bottle. Gross. All right, then we have a buck. Doesn't look too bad. Some scales, neat old scales. Neat old, uh, like 1950s Halloween mask. These things are frightening to me. Juggling pins, I guess. I don't, every time I call them that, somebody goes, no, oh, there's this or this, and I don't know what that, can't remember what it is. Nice oil painting. Robertin, S-R-O-B-E-R-T-I-N. There's some information up here on it. This Dutch oven is, uh, Griswold. Oh, white clarinet. Official Railway Equipment Register. 80s, I think. And some uh, sports or non-sports cards in there. Some non-sports, I guess. Box of Asian kind of stuff. Bunch of nutcrackers. We're almost there. Butler Manufacturing Company, Kansas City Plant, 1922. No idea where that is. Can't really recognize anything. Like number nine's got his fish bones out. Skeleton. Turtle. Uh, another. Like. Buck. Skull. More bones, more bones, circus, circus. That guy. 
sheafies, trumpet. Oh boy, okay. Um, and over here, medical equipment. That looks like medical books, vintage caps, all sorts of fun stuff there. Medi more medical equipment, old stuff. All right, so let's walk over here and work our way around the room. Thanks for joining us. Again, make sure you're subscribed and you like and comment below if you can. Really appreciate that. Just say something like, neat stuff this week, or I like it there. I don't know, it helps, it helps get out there. But whatever, uh, f uh, 48 star silk flag. I guess that's silk, maybe not, but that kind of material. Somebody spent a long time making that. A rosette Afghan. And over here we have these like retro signs. Reproductions. They're well done. They look neat. Doctor's bag, cast iron, uh, Columbus type freaking doorstop, oil cans. That is a dream catcher. One of those mean that if you put it in your room you won't have dreams that that will catch them all because I would freaking love that it's kind of one of my rants lately is oh, I'm trying to sleep why do I keep having dreams I'd love to just sleep 10 hours straight I'm rambling obviously Cool stuff here. That's neat. These are old, like cloth cards. I think they're old. Somebody put on there. But you know, that type of card. All right. Doing the video. There is a rock star energy drink sign. Just hook that up to your alarm. It lights up your room. Crack a rock star as soon as you wake up. Take on the day. This clock is cool. It's like grandmother clock from Germany, I believe. J U N G H A N S. It says F L E N S B U R G. Really cool. Native American basket, the old scale, like a I'm going to Guatemala hat. Um, let's see, and there's the box for your uh, rock star sign. This nice Native American blanket. Cool little uh, like little kids. I need to get that stuff out of there. Or maybe not. I mean, all that stuff is in there. All the old toys and stuff. Cool scrapbooks. Really cool scrapbooks. Mm 
Did you see all those little toys and stuff were inside of those? I did. But I didn't take the pictures over here, so hopefully whoever did got that. But it's on the video. Yeah, everything's got toys in it. So yeah, really neat stuff. That's a neat old piece, like a bar mat or something. So over here, yeah, more spooky stuff. Vintage Halloween, witch scepter, medical stuff. We've got brain in there. That's a neat prop. These medical bottles. We'll do choice on those. Generally, 99% of the time, if it's not all in a box, it's individual. So little dental things are nuts. That big glass piece, I believe, is something about making whiskey that clown is scary this poor girl she's scary too neat photos and then a bunch of holly hobby china that old tombstone advertisement and let's see those boxes on the floor for packing up your dishes. Then we go over here. We got Bart Simpson, 1990, stand up. Um, Beanie Baby Bumble. That that movie is really good. I thought. If you haven't seen it should check it out neat stuff here oh wow that was such a good show lots of that kind of stuff in there So yeah, get down here for preview, check stuff out. Really, really, oh, that's cool. Lamp, or light fixture. Really, you know, get the best idea. Nothing on those shelves this time, which is okay, because this seems pretty, pretty solid auction. I mean, 1030, I'm guessing. Seems like we've been moving faster though. Big Jim sports camper with a Rowdy Rowdy Piper in there. I guess they're going together. Oh, more stuff over here. Number nine's been busy. Then, yeah, this new stuff like I was talking about, metal detector, uh, drill press, portable drill press, tools, air fryer. I need an air fryer. I don't have one yet. Everybody keeps talking about them. Standard oil tag on there. That's cool. Looks like one of those some pandas over there. Panel stool and the urn hasn't been used, so you know, get your a bunch of straws. <laughs> get your affairs in order. Telescope. See, I think that's all left over. We'll go over there later in the night. 
Let's go over here now. We've got some furniture pieces. Nice vintage chase. Wee little bench, padded bench there. Nice, four nice uh, metal stools with backs. There's an edger, cane rocker, little table. We've got these little, I guess they're not nesting. I guess they're all individual little side tables. Office chair, a couple of sewing machines. Um, then a lot of vintage women's clothes here. I think pretty much vintage. I don't know how well they'll do. Came out of a storage unit that we acquired. So yeah, don't look at this video and go, oh, I've got a bunch of those kind of clothes. I'm gonna bring them down. Let's don't do that. Um, but who knows? Touch base next week, see how they did. And there's some furs here too. So yeah, might pop off. There's a little wall cabinet. There's a dresser. Apparently I'm the only one here who answers the freaking phone, so sorry if that's you and you're listening to this. I like this cute little love seat. Okay, then this. Okay, this looks switched up, so we've got this desk and that yellow chair. And then those two yellow benches. I thought those were cute. I think it was all together at one point, but I'm thinking somebody might want, uh, you know, one of those benches. Oh, look at that table. Okay, then more of this stuff. Again, uh, this, you know, all came out of a storage unit. We just took the whole thing. So it's kind of that situation where we're selling it down here because, you know, it's the stuff that we bought. But we don't need you to bring down a bunch of stuff like this, okay? Or that thing, because it's been here for like a month you can have it if you want it this is a neat little haunted house looking drop front desk that stuff is all pretty much nobody nobody wanted it waiting to get it off to thrift um these boxes again they were from the storage unit but, you know these are like 50 bucks each if you're trying to buy them wardrobe boxes dish pack boxes so i guess we'll see what happens All these sheets, vintage sheets. For some reason, they're all laid out here instead of just thrown into a box or two. I'm not sure what the thought process was on that, but uh, I don't know, maybe something will happen with it. Um, I'll go back here. Guys are getting things tidied up. I don't know been back here yet. Marceline, Marceline, Missouri. That's cool. That's neat. Nice Truman stuff. Looks like Kansas City Museum. I think this all came from a house that's on the square down there. PS3. What the? All right, come.
and check that stuff out. Tools. A lot of tools. Again, tools, not something we're really too strong on selling down here unless it's like high-end, really high-end stuff like jet. Then we seem to knock it out of the park, but that kind of stuff, not just so much. That's going to the thrift store. This is a mess. This is getting cleaned up. Let me wander over here. And what do we have? What do we have? Neat little Asian lacquer table and chest. Another little like herb type chest. That's pretty neat. Those lampshades are cool. More like kind of art pottery, I guess. Or bean pots. Maybe they're even older. Oh my goodness. There's, there's a bunch of them. Jewelry chest. Somebody checked in there. I don't know if it happened, but anytime we come across those, always pull out the drawers and look behind them. I found gold before. Sports cards. Da -da -da. Oh, I want to get over here and look at this. I think these are so cool, and I wish I was a guy that had time to like mess with it. Christmas, New Year's Eve, 1950. There's film in all of them. Colorado, 57. Naples, 67. Magnificent Marco Island, 67. That's killer stuff, man. You know, you look online, a lot of people digitize that stuff. I mean, I mean, as I understand it, you know, like, you, this is your content now. Like, you buy that. You digitize it, that's yours. It's not, I don't know exactly what I mean by that, but there's a funky peacock clock. There is a big mirror. Nortaki Shenandoah. jewelry back here all right you had a little hiccup in the camera there looks like some neat Korean all hanging pieces and DVDs, CDs, VHS. Again, not especially desirable items, but every once in a while they sure do go crazy. It seems like this would be a good deal for a heavy, heavy coffee drinker. And that's those are just hundreds, hundreds of dollars, I'm sure, if not more. Bye, Natalie. Cute. Let's see, I'll get that picture in a minute. Christmas stuff. A beauty fold table. Those are handy. Let's see. The babe bows out. There's the Christmas tree. Oh my god, there's more Christmas stuff. But you never know. 
There's a tree, small tree, all that. I mean, that's cool. Little copper piece. Oh, I meant to look these up. Damn it. Uh, Harrison B E G A Y. Seems like it says. This is 1939 K J U R A H O E M S, it looks like. I meant to look those up, and I'm still going to do that. Artwork here. A neat Kansas City piece. Oil. All right. Over here. Kellogg'sware Adams England Ming Toy pattern. That could be something. Vinyl. Huh? Huh? Well, you might find something good in there. You're just going to have to come look. All right. There's those pieces there. Some kind of corrugated, framed. This chair could be a sleeper. I don't know. Musty and dusty. Let's say slides in here. Another. That's another thing. Kind of like those films. I mean, I guess that's like your image. So, you know, I don't know how all that works, selling images and stuff. But there's neat stuff in there. History. Planting clock. That's probably picnic table. Collector plates again. Collector's plates. Turns out they were not an investment, like they said on TV. Vintage posters and such up in here. All right, we're going to roll down this uh, last little L here and uh, show you that stuff. And then we're going to see you on Wednesday for preview and Thursday at the auction. Remember, auction night, doors open at 5. This could be cool still good auction starts at six and preview every wednesday over the lunch hour kind of 11 to 1. this could be cool huh more talkie probably tahoe more talkie sold some freaking china to the americans that's for sure beanies christmas ginger jar that's kind of neat those canisters are kind of neat. It's all like traveling communion deal. Alright, keeping on, keeping on. Percussion stuff. More Christmas stuff. This, all this out of that storage unit, I think. So hopefully it does well. Ignore the voices in the background if you can, but. Hey guys, doing the video.
neat stuff all the way through so uh, yeah I don't think I forgot anything so we will uh, end it here and we'll see you guys uh, preview Wednesday auction Thursday thanks <laughs>